Hi guys, welcome to another quick guidance video. In today's video, we will majorly discover what are the requirements of your profile or what are the preparations that are required for getting into a PM Tech role or generally known as the product management role. We already have discussed about what exactly is there in the PM role, what are the responsibilities that you can expect, what is the career progression that you might see. And we had with us last time Mr. Ayan Chakraborty, who is an IIT Karakpur and I am Ahmedabad alum, and he is working with Microsoft right now. And today again uh, we have Ayan with us. So let's just get started. Hello everyone. I'm back with the second video. In the previous talk, I talked about uh, what the product manager job entails, what your responsibilities will be, and how your career progression will look like. Today I'll talk more about how to get into product management, how to prepare for it and what the interviews are like. So first we, uh, we, we'll talk about what kind of profiles have a very good chance of getting shortlisted, uh, getting the CV shortlisted for the PM jobs after MBA. So very big advantage to have here, I'll, I'm telling you upfront, is that you have software development in your previous work ex for two or more years. So nowadays trying to be inclusive, politically correct and whatnot, all companies when they come for the pre-placement talks, you will hear them proclaiming that previous work ex in software development is not required at all. And it's technically true. Maybe 10% of product managers who are hired don't have any previous work experience in software development. But it's a tough challenge nonetheless if you have no software development experience beforehand. And I'll talk more about that. But first, if you have previous work ex in software, then it's very good for you. While uh, in MBA college, you should take part in competitions and club activities which are related to tech and product management. You should do courses on data science, business intelligence, all take all the marketing courses very seriously. And you're very good to go CV wise for any PM job. Now, if you don't have previous work ex on software development, it depends a lot on what kind of work ex do you actually have. I have personally seen many people who have previously worked in analytics role and similar like data science roles which are quant heavy in nature. These people are definitely preferred. A question which I get pretty often is can non-engineers become product managers? And the answer is yes. It's not impossible but it's rare. And the reason simply is that you need to understand why companies prefer engineers or ex-software developers as PMs. The, the, a big part of your job will be interacting with software developers as a PM and if you have no clue about what they are talking about, about the lingos or the verbiage that they are using, it will be impossible for you to do your work well. And if a software developer in your team understands that you have no clue about what he is talking, while other product managers in your team understands him well, then they will start preferring to work with the other PMs because it's a lot less effort for them to make the other PM understand about the work or get some feedback from them. So yes, if you are a non-engineer, and it's also relevant for people who are engineers but have no clue of software development, and if you want to get into product management, you have to learn something about software development on your own. And there are so many courses online, so the whole software development learning has become democratized a lot. You can easily learn one programming language, understand the basics of programming lingo, understand the tech of the company that you are applying for before you apply and go over these interviews. And in your CV, if you want to show that you are a serious candidate, you have to do some previous projects or you have to win some competitions like strategy or case competitions in your college, which are related to product management or tech companies. And also during internships, uh, companies are more willing to take risks by taking on engineers for PM roles. So if you get into an internship and then you can prove that you work well as a PM without having the previous experience, then there's no reason for them to reject you. Also, there are other jobs in the IT profile like tech consultants, which TCS, Wipro, IBM, PwC, these guys take. And in these roles, the expectation of past development experience is less and it's more focused on business development and strategy. But again, candidates who have previous IT experience will be preferred here. And if you really have no idea of software development and also not interested to learn about it, but you still want to work in a tech company, there are plenty of roles available like business consultants, product marketing managers, sales, and etc. And there is, uh, where there is no such requirement for previous tech experience. So look out for these as well. Uh, now coming to interviews for PM after MBA. 
Typically, there are three to four rounds of interviews for product management jobs. So after CV shortlisting, there will be a selection round before the actual uh, personal interviews. It's similar to a product management competition where they'll give you a pro problem statement and you will have to submit a PPT, which is your answer to that problem statement. The problem statement can be like, what is your tech product and how will you improve it? It will be vague like that. And so based on this submission, if you're selected for the uh, personal interviews, the first round will be kind of based on the submission that you made. They will dig deeper into why you uh, proposed whatever solution you gave, what was the thought behind the assumptions that you have made in that solution. After that, there will be two or three more rounds, which will be progressively with more senior people in your company. And typically, any question in these two, three rounds of personal interviews will be of these five types. First, guesstimates, which will be somewhat related to tech. For example, uh, I got a question that how much internet bandwidth is required for your college? This can be a type of guesstimate question. Second kind of question are product design questions where they'll ask you to design a niche kind of product from scratch. Like how do you design an ATM for blind people? The third kind of question would be to design a minimum viable product or MVP. So describe how would you make a MVP for a messaging app and then you have to design the whole MVP there. Now coming to the fourth kind of question, these are business case questions which are similar to a consult questions. So a question can be like an e-commerce company has approached you and they have, they have seen decreasing retention numbers over the last few months, how will you solve it? The fifth kind of questions are tech questions. These can be proper coding questions like algorithms for sorting, searching, data structures, but these will be based on what you have indicated in your CV if you have previous software development experience or not. For non-excoders, they may ask questions to judge your understanding of major techs like machine learning, AI, blockchain, etc. This interview will be taken by an actual senior software developer in your team. Now answering few questions directly which were asked in the previous video comments. So Ayushi has asked that if we can shed some light on whether there is a minimum workex requirement for such roles or can freshers apply as well. Also does workex have to be on tech field. Okay, so there is no workex requirement strictly. But as I said that having workex in software development and analytics etc will give you considerable advantage. That said, I know freshers who have become product managers in Microsoft, but they had actually won, uh, uh, they had actually won previous uh, product management competitions in our college and they had also interned in Microsoft. So keep that in mind. Uh, now Unicorn Live has asked us a question that can be, that is it necessary to have coding skills to uh, become a PM? Okay, so not at all. No one will ask you to code in a PM interview, but uh, it's a huge advantage to know algorithms and data structures. So you can at least talk about them. Yeah, you don't have to solve the problem, but you have to actually answer like what algorithms will you use for a certain problem. Tarun uh, has asked that have, does having a non IIT NIT degree has a disadvantage? Okay, so I still have a CAC degree and two plus years of developer experience in a product company. So no, so there is no uh, such requirements that you should only have a degree from IIT or NIT, but I won't lie, having a degree from IIT and NIT does give you an edge over others. But since I have seen that you have previous uh, experience of two years in software development and you also have a computer science degree, you are pretty good to go. Maybe they'll grill you more to check about your computer science fundamentals, but if you answer them well in your uh, interview, it shouldn't be a problem. And Tarun has also asked that which colleges have a good placement record for the PM role. Uh, so from my experience, all the premier IIMs like A, B, C, L, K, I have, uh, have uh, get a lot of uh, roles for product management jobs in the campus placements. Apart from this, I have seen a lot of product managers coming from ISB. So that's a good college as well. And also from Accelerate. So that's it. Uh, these are the questions which I which I found in the previous uh, video uh, comments. Now coming to the second part of the video, which is about how to prepare for these interviews. So book wise, I would recommend two books, which I personally used and I found very useful. These were the Cracking the PM Interview by McDowell. And the second one is Decode and Conquer by Lewis Lin. Also, you should go through consult prep books, which uh, are necessary for the business case based questions. 
there is a dearth of reliable resources for interview actual interview questions and answers and i personally struggled a lot while prepping for it so currently i'm excited to tell you that me and a few fellow product managers are working on a website myproductprep.com which we will offer where we will offer a wide catalog of questions and solutions for all kinds of pm questions and we will also be taking mock interviews for aspirants the site is currently getting built and uh, it will it should be up by september so anyone who wants to get notified once this website is up you can leave your email in the comments below and i'll notify you guys at that time when the website comes live and i am actually pretty excited and confident that this website is going to be very helpful for any product management prep that you guys do so okay folks that's all from me in this video best of luck to you all thanks a lot for such an amazing session ayan i hope that everyone who wants to go into pm will find this session really really helpful and i hope that it helps you convert a lot of interviews and get into roles that you want to so that is all from our side in case you want any more videos or further videos regarding this particular segment or any other sector just let us know in comments below and see you again soon